I did my PhD study in UC Berkeley with genomics. But when I came here, and uh, I really kind of inspired by all the imaging tools developed on campus. I'm collaborating with a lot of pioneer imaging tool builders here, like Eric Basic Lab. I'm using advanced imaging and the genomic approaches to understand how cells become different during the early embryo development. I'm working with mouse uh, embryonic stem cells. Those are single molecule movement inside of the uh, embryonic stem cell nucleus. The microscope we are using right now is called lattice light sheet microscope. It's a completely new microscope, so it's a built from scratch. And this microscope, one very special property about it is it's just it can illuminate very thin uh, sheet inside of a living, living cell with a very fine resolution like 300 nanometer which normally couldn't be achieved by other light sheet uh, techniques. So this really allow us to look at the single molecules uh, inside of live cells in 3D while uh, keep the cells uh, alive uh, for a really long time. The whole design and the idea of the microscope, the principle of the illumination are, are new. Mouse and burning stem cells is very special. When you put it back into a mouse embryo, it can actually differentiate to all the cell types in the animal's body. That means that if we figured out how to induce them to differentiate to like neurons or muscles, we probably have a way to cure those uh, neuron degenerative or muscle degenerative patients. As a fellow, I'm currently collaborating at, at least six uh, labs and two project teams. On campus. I, I try to collaborate with people to explore different things and see which, which direction going to work. You can reach out to any labs you want and to um, use their specific techniques to help you to answer that question. So you actually have a lot of invisible hands that behind you to really push your research program forward. The fellow program normally is for three years, so I'm kind of in the, in the middle of it. I published two papers that I'm the uh, lead author, the corresponding author, and one co-author paper. And then I'm now submitting another paper. I think we are in the beginning of something really exciting. Being independent here is really about, you have to think of your own research ideas, what kind of biological question you tr want to address. But once that is, clear, it's very easy to find the right people to collaborate with and to help you to realize that idea.